We just got our first look at iOS 17 at WWDC 2023, and although it wasn't the main focus of the keynote, Apple still had plenty to show us in terms of new features for iPhone. Let's go take a closer look. If you liked iOS 16 lock screen customization update from last year, then you'll be glad to hear that Apple is introducing a similar functionality for your contacts app. The new contact posters let you pick a photo of yourself and add your name and the font of your choice. You'll be able to share your contact poster with other iPhone users easily with the new name drop feature. When a call goes to voicemail on iOS 17, you'll now be able to see a transcription of what your caller is saying on your phone pop up. It gives you a chance to double check who's trying to give you a call and give you the option to pick up if you want. If you're trying to FaceTime someone but they're not answering, now you can leave a video message for the next time they check their phone. All right, now file this one among features that you hope you never have to use, but you're glad are there. Check-in works via iMessage to alert a chosen contact when you make it home from an activity, such as if you're traveling earlier in the morning or late at night. You can delay this timer if you want to, but if it runs down, your contact will get details of your location, iPhone battery level, and cell signal, letting them know where you are, what you're up to, and why you might not be able to get in contact. On a lighter note, Apple has upgraded the sticker experience on iPhone, both in iMessage and in third-party apps. It's now tucked away in a new expandable menu and supports emoji and your own still and animated images from your photos via the subject lifting feature from iOS 16. Again, this will work in third-party apps too, so you should be able to use it in things like Instagram and Snapchat. Now you can airdrop files between iPhones and Apple Watches just by bringing the devices closer together. This also works with the new name drop feature for sharing contact details. Apple has updated the machine learning behind autocorrect and dictation for the iPhone's keyboard. That means if you have your own shorthand phrases or slang, hopefully your keyboard should be able to pick up on it. Perhaps the biggest new experience for iOS 17 is the journal feature. This is a brand new default app on your iPhone. The journal app collects together activities from your day and bundles them into prompts for you to reflect on later. This can include things like photos you took, places you went, contacts you spoke with, and the music you listened to. When you open an entry, the app will prompt you on what to write, helping you to better appreciate and understand what's been going on in your life. You can also set up reminders if you wanna be sure to get your daily journaling in. Now, when you're not using your iPhone, it can turn into a smart display with the new standby feature. The standby feature offers multiple clock styles, widget options, details on the weather, your next alarm, and a slideshow of photos that you can appreciate from a distance. Siri is still available for hands-free controls, and there's even a low light mode that turns the display red for when you're heading to bed. However, this is one of those features that relies on the always-on display for the iPhone 14 Pro, so we'll have to see how useful it is for older iPhone models. You no longer have to say the word, hey, in front of Apple's voice assistant. Just say Siri and that'll summon Apple's digital assistant. Now you only need to say Siri's name to get it to do things for you. Asking follow-ups is also now easier since you don't need to say Siri's name with each new request. Apple has finally caught up to Google Maps by letting you download parts of Maps for offline use. So when you're away from Wi-Fi or a cell signal, you can still check out where you're going and even see points of interest along your route. These were just some of the biggest or most useful iOS 17 features that are coming to iPhone. You can be sure to check out all of the iOS 17 upgrades on tomsguide.com. If you follow us on social, you'll also be able to see some highlights from the public beta once it becomes available next month. It's at Tom's Guide on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And as always, I'm at Kate Kozich. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.